So, so far we've been discussing the design and the engineering of this OV feat, this OV bicycle, and how it's been planned and how it's built and for reuse, for repair, for remanufacturing, for recycling, that's fantastic. But there's a business model. And what's, how does that work? How does the business model drive the design? What happens here? Yeah, as you already mentioned, uh, always the business model drives the design. In that case, this bike should last as long as possible. So for oh, that- Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. So this bike's not for sale? It's not for sale. Oh, it's, okay. So that changes the design completely. It's, it's changing completely. As you can see here, the robustness of this bike is because of uh, people can just rent it. Over use. and over and over. Bye. So how do I make money? You make money by using that stuff. So when they use the bicycle, they pay? Yes. Oh, so it's pay per use. Pay per use. Wow. So instead of selling a product, it's pay per use. Therefore, you make the design as simple and robust and long lasting as possible. Right. Oh man, that's incredible. So it's a completely different mindset of how it's done. Um, and there's this whole thing about standardization. Well, how does that help if you standardize parts? Of course, uh, they have a lot of bikes. Yeah. So if you standardize part, yeah. uh, probably one bike get broken. Yeah. So you can refix other bikes with the other parts of the bike. So you get interchangeability of right. parts. And I guess if you're also ordering a lot of the same parts, it's cheaper for the business. Of course. Because they order the same valves, the same tubes, the same tires, the same grips, the same bell, the same seats. You can order hundreds of thousands of them, and then they're ready for if you repair, remanufacture, whatever. And then for the recycling process, they're the same materials. Yes. Oh, wow. So same standardization works very well. What, you talked to me um, something about a product service system. What's that? Yeah, product service system is what, is, I mean, it's not just about the bike, but it's all so, about around the bikes. So what's the, pro this is the, the bike's the product? Yeah, but we have a lot. What's the service? The service is uh, the things that turn around the bikes. So for example, uh, you already mentioned about the card but also it can be an app or a website. Oh, that's how you get the bicycle. Yes. But what's the fundamental service that the customer has? Mobility, I guess. Yeah, it is mobility. <laughs> oh, wow. So I come in, I got a product, and then the service is mobility. I've got all kinds of things around it, like the, an app or a card and digital. I can use it, go in and out. I could take the bike back to another railway station or a bus station or wherever I want. So it gives the user flexibility to go wherever they want, whenever they want for low cost. You get it. But it's not using more and more materials. It's circular in design.